Good morning, my name is Niklas Forger. It's my pleasure to introduce the Department of Innovation and Digitalization at the University of Vienna to you. Uh, this department was founded in autumn 2017, and since then we have been working quite intensely on everything which comes with digitalization into the law. On one hand, therefore, we deal in particular with data protection, data security, e-commerce law, consumer protection, copyright, and similar fields of the law, because those are the most prominent fields where the law needs to find answers to everything which comes with digital. On the other hand, we also try to work on everything which changes the law because of the digitalization we are in the middle of. So in particular, everything which is um, with legal tech related issues is in the field of our interest. And finally, we also try to change and to develop a format of legal education. So we have been quite intensely working on everything which comes with computers and law and education. It's my pleasure to show to you in some more detail what we are doing here. So this is a long corridor with a lot of offices of the department. It's rather white. It's a lot of light here, a little bit uh, cool, therefore we started to put images and pictures on the wall. Many of them have something to do with the most interesting scenes we had in the first two and a half years of this department. Good morning. Good morning. Another class that we teach is the course Legal Research, which is a mandatory online class with over 4,000 law students participating in the first semester. The goal of this course is twofold. First of all, we want our students to be able to find the legal sources. Where do you find the statutes and international treaties, relevant cases or literature of legal experts? What do I as a student have to think of when writing my PhD or seminar paper? Apart from that, we also want the students to get familiar with legal tech. So how does innovation technology change the way we do legal research nowadays? Working at this department means collaborating with a group of interesting, innovative, ambitious and helpful people that will go the extra mile to guarantee high quality work. By bringing together different cultures, the team operates with an open mind that values feedback. By seeing how everybody is contributing to this arising legal field, I can appreciate the privilege to work here. INSA operates as a revolutionary EU project which aims to empower citizens by placing your medical and health data into your very own hands using the smart EHR mobile application. So say for example you're traveling through Europe, fall sick and have to visit a foreign doctor. The application allows you to share your data with foreign doctors throughout the EU. The application also allows citizens to store, manage and exchange medical data in a safe and efficient manner. As a department, we play the role of legal consultants on the project, offering expertise in the areas of legal compliance, data protection and data management. In addition to our health and medical projects, we also work on law enforcement projects, one of which is Connections, an EU Horizon 2020 research project which aims at creating a, so a software platform to assist law enforcement in tackling crime. Data from a wide range of different sources, including police body-worn cameras, social media data and drone footage, are all fed into the platform to assist law enforcement at all stages of the crime. Our role within the project is to assist in analysing the legal and ethical requirements. This includes an analysis of potential societal impacts of the platform, intellectual property requirements, data protection and privacy. We're also working on data protection in our teaching. For example, last semester we held a course called Privacy Goes Iconic, where we teamed up law students and students of design and tasked them with creating icons, a set of icons, to display information about data processing, for example, on a website. So these icons should communicate visually what you could read in those privacy policies that you don't read anyway. So the goal of all of this is to better inform people about their rights and what is happening to their data. Uh, so you don't need to be a lawyer the next time you sign up for a website.